Well, from slapping down the hags at The View Fuck! to calling out Democratic corrupt Senator Bob Menendez a sleazeball, <laughs> John Fetterman has been on a tear. It's true. So much so that he recently showed up for a commencement speech, yeah. trashed Harvard because of its anti-Semitism. <laughs> I'm Jasper Gonzo and this, Fetterman, thy is based. Thank you all! Learn to love it! This is what's next. Hey, happy Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jos Borgonzo. What's next? Your daily dose. Common sense, facts, and salt. Hope you guys are feeling good today. Don't remember the last time I did a video about this dude. Maybe ever. One John Fetterman. Yes, Senator John Fetterman, Democrat out of Pennsylvania. Who, uh, of the, the stroke victim, yes, he, re, he uh, got a uh, stroke. Days, I'm sorry, weeks before the election two years ago in the midterms won to a lot of people's surprise but anyway look at he faced off who was it Mehmet Oz really anyway what has he been doing lately well outside of running around in his sweatpants you know for the last I don't know year plus he all of a sudden got based Whatever. I don't know. Did he fall down? Did he hit his head? Uh, you know, was he, you know, did he eat some kind of lead paint? You know, was he eating paste? Don't know what happened to Mr. Fetterman, but Johnny Boy got all based. Over the last few months, he went on The View and trashed those lovely ladies there. Basically just slapped them down when they call him a progressive. Then he goes after Senator, Democrat, uh, corrupt Senator Bob Menendez, Bob Menendez called himself a victim, and uh, Fetterman said, no, you're a sleazeball. If that wasn't bad enough. Recently, he went to his alma mater to give a commencement speech and trashed Harvard University due to his anti-Semitism. Mm. Oh, this coming from the New York Post. Senator John Fetterman dramatically whips off Harvard Hood at Yeshiva University commencement, profoundly disappointed. Senator John Fetterman told Yeshiva University graduates Wednesday that he was profoundly disappointed in Harvard University's inability to address anti-Semitism on campus before removing the ceremonial crimson academic hood representing his alma mater. The Pennsylvania Democrat expressed his disapproval with the Ivy League school during his commencement speech uh, for the, at the private Orthodox Jewish University, which bestowed him with the Hero of Israel Award, the institution's highest honor. Quote, I've been profoundly disappointed in Harvard's inability to stand for the uh, stand up for the Jewish community after October 7th attacks, Fetterman told the new grads at the Louis Armstrong Stadium in Queens. You can see them right there. You can see them right there removing it. And of course, showing the blue band, which of course represents uh, the, Israel, um, the Israeli people who were attacked that day on October 7th of last year. Personally, I do not feel fundamentally believe. Uh, I do not fundamentally believe that it's right for me to wear this today. The senator added, as he removed the Harvard hood, identifying him as a lum from around his neck. Fetterman, a staunch supporter of Israel's war against Hamas, received a standing ovation after a symbolic gesture. The Jewish community deserves our support. He added, "Everywhere, and I promise you, you will always have mine." Fetterman's remarks were well received as he was spotted dancing with students and school leaders after delivering his speech. You can see them right there. And, of course, holding up the Israeli flag. <clears throat> Former Harvard University President Claudine Gay faced a firestorm of criticism in the wake of October 7th attacks on the Jewish state after her failure to criticize 30 Harvard student groups that published a letter holding Israel entirely responsible for Hamas's deadly rampage. Gay then appeared before Congress December 5th, where she refused to say anyone calling for the genocide of Jewish people at the university would be punished. Harvard faculty members stood behind Gay at the time, releasing a letter which called on administration not to bow down to political pressure because Hamas has nothing to do with politics. Gay resigned as the president in January following an unrelated plagiarism allegation, but remains on as a on at the faculty as a professor of government and African American studies. Of course, she does. They weren't going to fire her completely. Fernand wore a bracelet from the music festival in Israel where Hamas terrorists slaughtered hundreds. October 7th, actually thousands. Of course, him standing there with the president of Yeshiva, uh, Yeshiva Rabbi Dr. Ari Berman. 
Federman received his undergraduate degree in 91 from Albright College in PA and obtained an MBA from the University of Connecticut in 93. The senator graduated from the Harvard's Kennedy School of Government in 99 with a Master of Public Policy degree. He has previously said that he does not recognize the school as the same place he once attended. Quote, as an alum, as an alum at Harvard, look, I graduated 25 years ago. And of course, uh, it was always a little pinko, he told, uh, told Semaphore in January, but now I don't recognize it. Last month, Fetterman endorsed the former Massachusetts governor and current Utah Republican Senator Mitt Romney to take over the presidency at Harvard, which is currently being held on an interim basis by Alan Garber, the university's former provost. My thoughts. Well, um, yeah. I mean, you look at the last, just go back to the last four or five months and Fetterman, for some unknown reason, like I said in my intro, he's based a lot of things a progressive lib would agree upon or would not address, he's addressing. He recently spoke at some event where basically he was at, he was uh, asked, you know, does he consider himself a progressive? He goes, no, I consider myself a Democrat, an old school Democrat. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Democrats, uh, as any of you have seen on this program. I tend to slam them at every waking moment I can get my hands on. But with Fetterman, something was different is that, you know, mind the sweatpants, you know, push that to the side, you know, him dressing like he just woke up every day. But from the view to Menendez, to calling out other Democrats for their shenanigans and nonsense regarding Donald Trump, to now this, you would think that he would be a, a Republican, or at least, worst case, a rhino. But no, he's just a guy who happened to suffer a stroke in recovery and he's thinking with common sense. Wow. Only if every politician looked at Fetterman. Can't believe I said that. But yeah, I'll say it again. Fetterman, thy name is based. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more like this? Please uh, leave a comment below. Like it, share, subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Continue spreading the word about the show. Appreciate you guys watching as always. And we'll see you next time. Peace.